This is a demo of FlexPod on X series with FlexPod XCS. Let's first start by looking at a FlexPod topology that we have in the lab. And this is an end to end 100 gigabit per second Ethernet FlexPod topology, also with end to end 32 gig fiber channel. Starting at the top, we have our Cisco UCS X9508 chassis which can contain up to eight of our UCS X210C servers with Intel processors. Uh, this chassis also has our new X9108-100G uh, IFM modules, which have 400 gig connections on each side connected to our two new UCS 6536 fabric interconnects and it's a 4 by 100 gig connection on each side and this could be expanded up to 800 gig connections on each side. We also have here two C-series servers shown. The first one here is a UCS C245 server which is based on AMD CPUs and this server has 100 gig connectivity to the 6536 Fabric Interconnect. And the C225 server here has a 4x25 gig VIC card. And so it, via breakout of a 4x25 200 gig breakout, uh, connects via 25 gig from the server to the Fabric Interconnect. Now, looking at the Ethernet part of this, the core Ethernet networking here is all 100 gigabit per second. So with port channels and virtual port channels, our 6536 FIs are connected to our Nexus 93360YC-FX2 uh, switches. And also our NetApp AFF A800 storage controllers are also connected via port channels and virtual port channels via 100 gig to the same Nexus switches. Also, we have optional fiber channel connectivity here on the outside. And this is done via breakout from the Fabric Interconnect. So we have a 128 gigabit to four by 32 gig fiber channel connection here. And these four uh, connections that come out are port channeled and go to our Cisco MDS 9132T switches. So we have 128 gigabits per second on each side in this topology. And then uh, we're connecting with the same amount of bandwidth from our NetApp storage controllers to these MDS switches. So each controller has four 32 gig connections or 128 gigabits per second of connectivity uh, to the two uh, MDS uh, switching fabrics. So now we're going to go to Intersight, which Cisco Intersight is our SaaS platform that we are managing this FlexPod with. And our UCS system is in intersight managed mode. So we have pools, policies, and profiles within intersight, which is pushing data into the fabric interconnects and into the servers to set them up to operate within this flex pod. So we're going to start with a server. So if I start with this server, uh, you can see it's in slot 5 in this chassis, and we will look a little bit more at the chassis in just a few minutes. Um, if we go to the inventory of the server and we go to network adapters, we actually have our 100 gig VIC card here. So this is a card that's in the MLOM slot in this X210C server, and it has 100 gigabit per second connectivity uh, on both sides or to each A and B switching fabric. Um, so we have true 100 gig connectivity from the server. So that 100 gig is going from the server to the chassis. So if we go and look at the chassis here and we pick the first one, we see our chassis here and we actually have this outfitted with uh, four servers. And if we look at the back of the chassis, we have our 
IFM modules here, one for Fabric A, one for Fabric B. And you can see here they each have 800 gig ports here. So you can scale up on each side to 800 gigabits per second. Now, if we go and look at the inventory of the chassis and we go into one of these uh, I.O. modules, which again is the 9108-100G, and we go into this, if we look at the backplane ports, this is where the servers are connected. And if we go to page two here, you can see this is connecting to a, an X210 um, with the 100 gig VIC. And you can see that on Fabric A here, we have a true 100 gig uh, connection. So once we go from the chassis, we go to the fabric interconnect. So we have the fabric ports here and we have four and each of these is a 100 gig connection. So now if we trace this on through to the fabric interconnect and let's say we look at fabric interconnect A, you can see here, here is the UCS 6536, so it has 36 100 slash 40 gig ports. And we actually, in this case, we have two chassis. So one chassis is connected on these first four ports. Another uh, chassis is connected on these next four ports. Then we have uh, C245s connected on these ports at 100 gig. And then we have C225 connected on these ports, and these are using the 100 to 4 by 25 gig breakout uh, to connect to the uh, C225. These are our network uplinks at 100 gigabits per second. And then these are our fiber channel breakouts. So each of these ports is configured uh, using a special SFP plus or QSFP and um, a special breakout fiber cable so that we have these four 32 gig fiber channel uh, connections here that we can connect to our Cisco MDS switches. So this has been a kind of a quick trace through the uh, X series system. And now we're going to talk about FlexPod XCS. So FlexPod XCS is actually the first uh, InterSight integrated system. And what it does is it pulls the elements of the FlexPod together into a grouping. And you can see here we have a, a FlexPod here called FlexPod-100G. And this FlexPod, um, if we look at the inventory of it, um, it has servers, uh, and then it has fabric interconnects that are part of our FlexPod. It has network switches, so we have our two Nexus 93 360s here. It has storage. In this case, we actually have two storage clusters, uh, the A800 that we saw, plus an A400 that's also here. And then it actually automatically picks up on the virtualization. So it's connected to a, a vCenter. And this vCenter actually has two uh, data centers uh, installed in it. So this pulls all this equipment together and it gives you monitoring. So we have a dashboard here uh, for this particular FlexPod. And it has information about servers, fabric interconnects, networking, storage, and virtualization. And here you can see we have some alerts um, from our FlexPod. These are some uh, storage-related alerts. And so this is information about this particular FlexPod. We also, at the monitor level, um, have a FlexPod uh, dashboard. And this would give us uh, information about all the FlexPods uh, configured in this InterSight account. In our case, we just have the one. But if we had three or four, all of their uh, information would be consolidated here.